General Kelly, thanks for coming. Um, if I travel abroad and I'm coming back home, do you think it's appropriate to deny me entry to the country unless I let you search my cell phone? Uh, under under very, very, very critical circumstances, I would say that uh, an American citizen ought to be able to come back in and not have their electronics searched. <laughs> We've gone from 5,000 people having their cell phone searched to 25,000. We are denying people entry who are citizens or green card holders who are coming back home, and your department is saying to them, you cannot return to your home without giving us your fingerprint and giving us all of the data on your phone, access to all of the data on your phone. I think this is an extraordinarily unreasonable standard. I also think that you probably can differentiate between citizens, U.S. persons, and those who are coming to visit. So I'm not saying you can't have some standards and that based on suspicion, you can deny someone entry to the country, but not a citizen, not a green card holder. They are denying access to our own country. I could travel abroad and be told I cannot enter America unless I let you look at my phone. That's obscene. And um, do you have a response? We're up to 25,000 of these now. Well, this, uh, um Certainly hasn't increased uh, significantly in the in the 90 days I've been in the job and 90 days Mr. Trump has been the president. I don't believe we're turning. I don't think we ever turn back legal citizens or, uh, or I mean citizens or, or, or legal residents. That's what's in the paper. That's yeah. in the last well, month. I, I, they're, I, they're telling there was a guy that had a green card and his wife was a citizen, but he lived here for many years. He was told he could not enter if he did not give his fingerprint to the government. I, I, let me take that on, Senator. That's, um, uh, this, what, the one thing I have learned in this job, that everything I read about this, <laughs> about this department or what goes on at our borders, is always more to the story. Um, but in, in general, just like an American citizen coming in and having his bag searched uh, at the port of entry, generally speaking, it's done for a reason. <laughs> Right. But, but I think there are different, and, I, and I'm not blaming you. It may sound like I'm blaming you. You've only been on the job for a month or two. But in your nomination hearing, you said you were going to respect the Fourth Amendment and you were right. going to respect people's privacy. So my hope is that you'll go back and ask people, are we really doing this? You know there I will. Been, yep. There have been many reports of this. I would also argue, though, that there's a difference between searching my bag and my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, If I'm coming in, there is, it is known that one of the things that happens at the border are drugs. We have dogs, we do all that, and we do random searches of bags. We're doing that even domestically. So I think we can accept that. But I think that people are going to be horrified the more they hear that their cell phone, all their contacts, we don't even know what's happening to our cell phone while it's gone and in the possession of the government. Are they downloading? And this is the story was this, that they're downloading everybody's contacts and information. There's an extraordinary amount of information on your phone. Not happening. All right. But that's, that's what the stories the are citizens. Saying. And in some cases, uh, uh, it is it's certainly happening to foreigners coming in, uh, right. but not routinely. But it's gone from 5,000 a year to 25,000. If you wouldn't mind, if you look into it and have sure. your people get back to my That's office on this. We'll do. But, um, you know, we put forward legislation, bipartisan legislation, because we're so upset about this, that really if you're a green card holder or a citizen, um, even if you had suspicion, the way it would probably work if you were, I think, obeying the, the spirit of the Constitution is you might be able to seize my phone, but we would then go to a court, and a court would determine whether you have probable cause to actually get the access to my phone for a citizen. But, uh, and for a non-citizen, I think if you don't give it, you can probably deny entry. I mean, there are rules on travel to our right. country. But I think for a citizen or a non-citizen to say I can't come back to my country without giving you the contents of my phone is, a, is I, I think, really a... I just don't believe we're doing All right, uh, but we'll... Please look at the news reports, because sure. it wasn't just one. There was a whole series of them in the last couple of days and a few interviews of people who are green card holders not being allowed entry. Thanks.